Hi, and welcome to Programming Like It's 1979. Today, I'm happy to announce a follow-on to last week's video about computer architecture, building a computer right here with you. Over the course of the next few months, I'm going to be rolling out videos that are going to walk through building the Hack CPU and the Jack operating system and language, as outlined in Nissen and Shokin's book, The Elements of Computing Systems, Building a Modern Computer from First Principles. There are a lot of moving parts here, so I wanted to take a few minutes to outline what this is going to look like. This video is the introduction. In the next video, I'm going to show you the software that I'm going to be using for the class. I'll show you how to download it and how to run it, and briefly discuss some of the additional things you'll need, such as a text editor and, optionally, a circuit design graphing program. Over the course of the next few videos, we'll be building the hardware. We're not actually going to be using physical hardware to do this, although one could, but rather we'll be using the simulator provided by Nissan and Shokin. If you're feeling ambitious, this part of the class is suitable for simulating in an FPGA environment, although we're not going to do that. It's beyond the scope of what I'll be discussing. Next, we'll write a very small program in assembly language, hand translate it into machine language, and run it on our computer. Hand translating programs is ponderous, though, so our next step will be to write an assembler. My current plan is to use the Haskell programming language to do this. This will probably require two fairly long episodes. One, to write a pass of the assembler that doesn't know anything about labels, and the other to turn it into a symbolic assembler that does understand labels and can use them to represent memory addresses. In Nissan and Shokin's book, the Hack CPU and the OS have a layer in between them, which is a stack-based virtual machine. We're going to have to write a translation layer that converts VM directives into assembly language. Next, using a specification provided by the book, we'll implement the Jack language. Now, even with a simple language, compilers can be really hideous beasts, like dragons, so this one might take a few videos to get through. Finally, we'll use all these parts to create a very rudimentary operating system for the machine providing support for memory allocation and deallocation, some drawing primitives, keyboard, I.O., screen I.O., and simple math string and array libraries. The machine we're building won't have protected or virtual memory. Once that's done, we'll write a simple game to see if it works. So that's my plan. This is going to be a huge adventure, and I do expect to be making other videos in the meantime. So if you're on board for this ride, make sure to subscribe to my From NAND to Tetris playlist and tell your friends who you think might be interested. One more thing for those of you who have stuck around to the end. It would be helpful to know what operating system my viewers who are following along are using. So if you could leave a message in the comments indicating whether you're running Windows, Mac, Linux, or something else, that would be great. This has been Programming Like It's 1979. Thanks for watching.